Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Yay! <laughs> Pokemon! I, I know we have been gone for a long time and compared to like the last time we did this. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, we had a bunch of stuff happening. Uh, we had our wedding not too long ago. We got we had our honeymoon and then just life happened right as soon as we got home from well, that. Well, it went like wedding, honeymoon, new jobs. New jobs and all that other jazz. We're sorry we've been kind of neglecting Pokemon for a little bit. But hopefully in today's episode it'll be somewhat of a good episode. Uh, we, in the last episode, we arrived at one island and we traversed through Kindle, K Kindle Road because uh, Bill has to help Celio fix his machine while he's there, and Bill told us to just explore, so that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we're going to go up to Mount Ember, which is at the end of Kindle Road. Mount- I didn't mean to skip the picture, but yeah, there's a picture on the Ember's end. Mount Ember is kind of a unique place here. He says, can you imagine the volcano were to erupt? Explosions would end us. How terrifying would that be? If you're terrified, would you like to teach- to, to like me to teach you explosion? Uh, yeah, you can teach a Pokemon Explosion here. Uh, there's only a couple Pokemon that can really learn, uh, the Explosion. None of my Pokemon can. None of your Pokemon can no. either. Explosion, what it does is it blows up and it causes, uh, Pokemon to faint, but it does, like, a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, there's Rocky Grunge over here. It says, what the? You're in the way. Get lost. Over here. Try digging here. The treasures the admin's been talking about should be here. Uh -oh, yeah, so they're, up to no good. they're up to no good. But we're not gonna be worrying about them until later. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, as you guys guys can see, there's a ledge there. Uh, do you have a strength Pokemon? I don't think I has a strength Pokemon. Uh, I do. I think I thought I did. Okay, we might have to go make a trip back. Um. Yeah, I don't have mine on me. Okay, I'm gonna go get mine. Uh, we're gonna make a quick cut. We're gonna go get a Pokemon that has strength. Oh, there's Ponyta. You can go catch Pokemon Ponyta right now. Okay. All right, that that's one of the Pokemon we've been trying to catch. We needed to catch. Uh, Ponyta is a fire Pokemon, and if I wasn't, if I didn't have Nine Tails, I'd really consider catching Ponyta myself and using it. We're gonna have to, tr uh, well, we probably won't have to, but... Oh. <laughs> I always do that stupid button. Oh, here's Ponyta for me. Okay, I'll go ahead and try to um, catch one while we're at it. I'm trying to remember how to use the... <laughs> yeah. We're probably gonna have to go get some resupply anyways, because I, I forgot to tell you guys, this episode, we're gonna catch a special Pokemon, and we're gonna definitely need Pokeballs. Okay, you caught Ponyta. Okay, cool. I hope he say it slash on... Okay, there we go. No, Ponyton, don't kill yourself, please. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Its body is light and its legs are incredibly powerful. It can clear it. I can't say that word. Clear Ayers Rock in one leap. Ayers Rock is a is a place in Australia. It's a giant like uh, mountain, uh, like rock that looks like a mountain. Yeah. Marley would know that. Okay, caught it right pony top myself. Its hooves are ten times harder than diamond. It can trample anything completely flat in a little time. Ooh, that's a strong Pokemon. Alright, so we need to get back to town. We're trying to go get get a Pokemon that can teach it. Oh, there's Rapidash. You can go catch Rapidash now. Oh my god. Wow, we were gonna <laughs> try to cut all this out and then we're finding the Pokemon that we needed to catch. So I love Rapidash. That's I love Rapidash. Yeah, Rapidash. Oh, fire spin! Owie! I need to actually go and catch a... I need to go get more Pokeballs myself because, like I said before, this episode, Ooh. we're going to be catching a Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Try catching it now. Oh, and it's paralyzed, too. No, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I you know. I feel be sorry for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> you want it to be paralyzed. I know, but you still feel bad for it after a while. Yeah. I probably need to... Oh, shoot. Do we have any Pokemon? Like, way to get, get Pokeballs? Oh, probably don't. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Oh, <sighs> Raichu's down. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I use Red so it can't hurt me that bad. Can I get Pokeballs? I can't remember. There's no Pokemart here. 
So we gotta be conservative with our Pokeballs for what we're doing. Don't use your Ultra Balls if you can. I'm not. I'm using Great Balls. Okay, you caught Rapidash. Good. Now you don't have to go catch Rapidash later. Cool. All right. I need to. We need to get a Pokemon. It can gallop at a top speed of 150 miles per hour. It can race as fast as a bullet train while while blaze. Holy cow, that's fast. Wait, are you freaking? Why? I forgot about that. Gosh. You gotta be kidding me. So we went all the way back for nothing? We're going all the way back for nothing. We need to teach our Pokemon strength. Or something like that until later. Okay, so I'm so sorry for this little side trip. We gotta go back to the mountain. But, I mean... I, I mean, mean, I could go hill, though, because... Yeah, your Pokemon are fainted, so it's probably a good thing that you did that. Okay, so I'm so sorry about this little side trip, guys. You know what? But I mean, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a good thing because we caught both po Ponyton and Rapidash. So, well, Amber did. I I need to catch Rapidash. So. I'm just gonna fly there. You yeah. Did it. So we're gonna cut back until we get to uh, Mount Amber again. All right, guys. All right, we're back here at Mount Amber again. Uh, I taught my Sand Slash Strength, and Amber taught her Raichu Strength. So that way we can kind of push these boulders aside. We gotta explore this area, because there's actually a special Pokemon here. So, there's also trainers here, too, so... Uh, well, I had to go back and heal my Raichu after it's a good thing that we getting did. Uh, Rapidash, so... Yeah, it's probably a good thing that we did, anyways. Did he have experience here? Yeah. Did I give him experience here? Yeah, did you? I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Ranger Beth. <laughs> Ranger Beth. <laughs> Go, group. Now, on Mount Ember, there is a special Pokemon. Only exclusive to Leaf Green version. So, in my version, I'm going to have to catch it and I'm going to have to trade it over to Amber. That Pokemon is Magmar. Oh, you that's know? right. You get Magmar. There's Magmar on this, on this place. So, I gotta go and catch a Magmar so we can uh, trade it over later. I'd use Gloom. Uh, let's use Alakazam. Um, one thing that I should mention about this place, the this whole area that we're exploring right now, they added this in the remake because there's such a giant like leap and dif like difficulty spike between the seventh and eighth batch. Yeah. And to accommodate this in the remake, they added this area so you can get a little bit of some grinding in. Come on, Charizard. I know you're paralyzed, but I know you can still hit. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I, I you know that, that's so stupid. I didn't. I completely forgot that they did that in here. And I probably should have checked it out before we did started this recording. They should have made Bill say something like, Oh yeah, while I'm doing this, the computers are going to be down, so yeah, make sure you well, have everything. The thing that sucks about this place is... I can't... We can't... There's no Mart on one island. I mean, we can go over to the next island. But I'd rather not go there yet. I guess, I guess that's my fault for being kind of stickler about that. We could go over to the next island and probably get more Pokeballs. But the thing well, is, though... we're not against it if we absolutely have to. Though. Yeah. If we absolutely have to. Yeah. No, oh, there's Rapidash. I can catch Rapidash now. What okay. were you going to say? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, the, you can't get Pokeballs at a, at a Mart, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's a Pokemon here that we're needing to catch, like, big time. And we're going to need a lot of Pokeballs for it. And I didn't really go into this area prepared myself. I mean, granted, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be saving right before that that happens. But I didn't really prepare very well for it. And if I don't get it, I'm going to have to reset. The thing is, though, there's no mark to get Pokeballs, and Ooh. as well, Hi. Oh, hero. As well, there's no you can't access your PC, so you can't swap out Pokemon. So that you kind of like up the creek without a paddle, if you know what I mean. So you just gotta be careful. Yeah. I didn't really prepare for the. I need to get more ultra balls. I caught Rapidash. To be kidding me! It used Mirror Move. 
which was Thundershot, then it paralyzed me? <laughs> At least I caught Rapidash. Okay, good. Very competitive, this Pokemon will chase anything that moves fast in hopes of racing it. Oh, I like Rapidash. Rapidash is one of my favorites. Okay. I I've always liked horses growing up. Yeah. Especially can I grew up in a horse country. But, uh, wow, this girl's going fast. What okay. is she doing? She's training for the triathlon. <laughs> um, but I always liked horses, and then when I seen Rapidash, I was like, oh my gosh, she's like the perfect Pokemon. <laughs> I like Rapidash's design as a Pokemon. I've been trained so I can mend my broken heart. I feel bad for her. <laughs> I feel bad for her, too. I've, it's toughened me up physically, at least. Where'd you find a Hitmonchan at? That's what this lady has. Oh. <laughs> Not a wild Hitmonchan. I, I was gonna say, what? <laughs> yeah, she has a Hitmonchan. <laughs> and she has two Hitmonchans, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh, Sky Uppercut. Okay. Psybeam! Owie. Ow. Do you have any Paralyze Heal? I hope I do. I probably do. Uh... Um, Let's go back up to the top and see. Yeah. Paralyzed Hill, there you go. Ice Punch. That's gonna do little damage because <coughs> in Gen 3, Ice Punch was a special attack. And Hitmonchan's special is horrible. <laughs> so. I like Hitmonchan. Though. I like Hitmonchan too. I'm gonna use another one. Uh, let's use. Let's use Persian. You wanna use Persian? Haven't, haven't used Persian in a while. Then See, again, yeah. we haven't used any Pokemon in a while. Yeah. So. Uh, Psybeam. I think execute Psychic type, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's Psychic type. Ah, it caused you to flinch, even though I know Bite wasn't gonna do much. Yeah, it's a dark type move, that's why. Yeah. Confusion! Oh, he knows. Mega that Punch! That didn't do very much. No. Oh, Persian! Mega Punch! Mega Punch! Executor. Okay. Really? Payday did that much damage to it? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Do it again. Get some money. <laughs> <laughs> Executor. Executor. Long neck in the in Gen Seven. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sand slash be level forty one. Okay. Oh, can't go that go way. That way. It's another uh, block. Go, go over to the left. Or, I'm Is sorry. Go to the right. Yeah. I think there might be item over there. How about a wall of Pokemon? Will that work? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to... Sand Slash, buddy. Give me an item. There um, is an item. A Dire Hit. Okay. Alright. Dire Hits uh, make it so, if I remember correctly. They make it so it's easier to hit the Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Mmm... Can't remember exactly. I'll have to remember. I can't remember things. My memory's a little. I can't remember effing s. I can't swear on a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you don't care about that kind of stuff, you don't care about getting money from YouTube. Then, <laughs> you know. Match. I actually need to use Paralyze Heal myself on. On an Alakazam here. I'm running away from the wilds right now. That's fine. I'll need to save up my. Uh... There is paralyzed. Do I have paralyzed heal? I don't think I do. An active volcano is one that's interrupting or about to. So are you saying you active in your volcano? <laughs> <laughs> do I have a pitcher berry? Oh, you just fought this guy. Not pitcher berry. Didn't you? Cherry. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just bought him. 
There you go, Alakazam. Eat a cherry berry. That'll heal your paralysis up. Alright. You so, don't have no paralyzed still? Uh, no. Like I said, I came kind of really badly underprepared. There is an Ultra Ball right here. Oh, cool. Coolie cool. I don't want to use our Master Ball either to get this Pokemon. Use, yeah, I don't want to use it to get this Pokemon. Uh, right here, Amber, if you see it. Okay. There's an Ultra Ball right here, so you can go ahead and get it. I'm right below that spot, so. Okay. I need to check something real quick. Oh, he's not on neck. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Ow. Okay, there is a Pokemon here I need to catch. It's on the base area. It's not in the cave itself. So I'm going to have to go run around in the grass until I find it. Alright, I beat him. Okay. If you go inside the base... um, I need to kill. Yeah. I would. <laughs> My poor Charizard, man! Charizard, here's a, here's a super potion, buddy. He's like, thanks! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to use another Paralyzed Seal on him, That's too. That's fine. So, yeah. Word of advice, come prepared on yeah, this. Yeah, come prepared when you come up this mountain. I completely didn't even realize that they, they literally, like, gimp you when you're here for some reason. I'm like, wow. Alright, so right there, there should be an Ultra Bowl. Like, Am I going too far? Yeah. Or? Right there. Okay. okay. Alright, now you can go inside the cave. Cave! Uh, they're... The only Pokemon in there are, I think, Machop and Geodudes. Okay, well that won't be too bad. Yeah. Now I'm trying to find my Magmar. If I can catch it. Uh... I'm just gonna... Now, okay. I need to switch right to out if that's the case. Switch them to. Uh, do you have. Uh, switch to your Vaporeon, because yeah. it's strong against everything here. Because it's, you know, fire type Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. And rock type. I know I'm kind of over leveled. Right now. I'm glad I'm kind of glad you are over leveled because the Pokemon we're about ready to fight is level 50 so I know, but a lot of people right now would be level 30 something so uh, I'm like 40s I'm like right now 40 like right at 40 and my blastoise is like level 45 there's a bunch of rock smash stuff here <laughs> like I said we're gonna have to come back with rock smash later oh, oh there's mod chokes here Okay. We haven't I, caught him we yet. We haven't caught that, so you can go ahead and catch one. We haven't caught a Machoke yet. Don't want to waste my Pokeballs, though. <laughs> I know. Revenge. Ooh, okay. that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. Just use a Great Ball. I've got 23 Ultra Balls. I think I'm good. I think we'll be alright. One, two, three... He's mine. Got him. Okay, you got Macho. Cool. I'm gonna catch him later. <laughs> Gotta get that Pokedex filled out. Yeah. I don't ever give nicknames myself. I don't give them nicknames either. Uh, I don't like giving nicknames because I'm not creative, so. I can't name a Pikachu Sparky or something like that. Yeah. There's a Rapidash. That's not the Pokemon I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for Magmar. Oh, lordy, I forgot Magmar's gonna be really super duper hard to catch. Don't use revenge on my Vaporeon! Okay. You make me mad. <laughs> now I have to use... Oh, uh, you, you can outspeed him. You can pretty much faint him in this turn. I don't like to, though, because my Vaporeon's in red. I know. You can just run. Or, just yeah, just go ahead. You outspeed him, so. Yeah. You'll be able to faint him. I want the experience. Yeah, I understand. I know it's not much, but I want the experience. 
Do you have hyper potions? No, just super potions, I think. There's max potions. Oh, Yo, you got hyper potions. Okay. Yeah, hyper potions are better. At least for Vaporeon, because Vaporeon has like a hundred something HP. <laughs> there we go. I might have to come back for Magbar. Because I completely forgot. Magbar's gonna be really, really annoying. To what catch. if you I run think... into him, though? Like, you'll at least have to try. Yeah. Because he's gonna be really, really annoying to get because his catch rate is ridiculously low. He, I forgot him and the Electabuzz are like that. I think Magmar. Let me go check out Magmar's uh, 45. Yeah, it's catch rate of 45. Do, 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 do. And if I think I remember like the buzz is like 45 too. Yeah. Catch rate's ridiculously low. I forgot about that. I had to go look data up. So what are you running into? Just like ponytails and stuff right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm just running into ponytails. Magmar's five percent chance of running into it here on the mountain. Oh wow. I think you're about ready to get into the Yeah, this is the room. Alright, so you got a oh don't go down. I know, I was just checking to see what it is. Um you have to use Rock Smash. No. No, you don't. I don't think you have to use Rock Smash, if I remember correctly. There's oh, a Pokeball. I want the items. It's an Ultra Ball. So Ultra Ball. Gives you okay. It's giving you extras. Game's like, oh, God, I might I'm so have sorry to, for you. I might have to hold off on getting Eggman right now. Okay. Well, if All you right, have to hold on, I'm you have just, to hold off. Yeah. I'll have to worry about him later. Is he right up here? Yep. Yeah. If you go up that room, you have a strength puzzle you have to solve. So okay. you have to move that one up, and then the other one to the left. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on getting Magmar for right now so we can get caught up because we have to be very careful with this thing. All right, I so you, say, yeah, you push that over, push, push it up. over. And, oh. Yeah, and then you keep, and then you go over and you push it over. Yeah. I see. Like so. There you go. Alright. Hi! So, I'm there... not touching you yet, but hi! <laughs> there is a Pokemon at the top of Mount Ember. A very special Pokemon. This is one of the three legendary Pokemon of the Kanto region. Now, each re uh, each Pokemon game usually has three legendaries, and they're all different types. Like, this one has the three legendary birds. Yeah. There's three legendary Pokemon of Kanto. This is... Um, Moltres, the fire bird. Now, in the original Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, he, was he wasn't here, because this place didn't exist in the original game. Uh, he was in Victory Road. Thing is, though, here, you only get one chance, oh, for a legendary Pokemon, you only get one chance to catch it. If you fail it, it, it disappears. It goes away forever. So, you need to save in front of this thing before you even a chance to fight it. So, uh, <laughs> that's probably what Amber's gonna end up doing here, is uh, saving right before it, so I think you're just waiting for me until I get up there. I mean, I could go ahead and save, and then... Okay, well, um, hold up just a second before we save, because I gotta check the recordings and whatnot. Yeah. I gotta go ahead and uh, toss a... Great ball at this oh, time. You're trying to get a I'm trying to catch Macho. Now, do you have to trade a Macho to get a Machamp? For yes, this one? you have to trade Macho in order to get Machamp. Okay, so lots of trading. You yeah, to do. We, got, we still have a lot of trading poke to do. Okay, caught Macho. Good. All right, but my Nine Tails fainted on me. Do I have uh, revives? Do I have revives. You got a max revive. I got revive. a max revive, but I don't want to use that if I don't have to. You may uh, have I some. Have I had two all war revives. Okay. There you go, my tails. Alrighty. So, like I said before, I'm gonna have to catch Magmar here later, probably at the end of this episode, because I'm I kind of want to get this taken care of first before we do anything. Cause this this might take a while. I'm this not might joking. take a while. We might actually have to reset a couple times if we don't do it right. Because uh, the legendaries are called legendary for a reason. Leg but... Yeah, legendary Pokemon are no joke. 
They are really yeah, hard to you catch. Go out into the lab to get that item if you want it. Okay. The ultra ball. Alrighty. Cause you might need it. <laughs> I might need an extra ultra ball. I need to get as many ultra balls as I can to get to this point. Man, it really sucks. I should have came here a little bit more prepared than I did. I thought we were. I thought we were prepared, but I guess not. You gotta okay. do the puzzle. Yeah. Remember how to do it? Yeah. You probably played this game a thousand times over, so. Yeah, but it's been years since I played it last, so. Okay. There you go. All right, so let's go and say right now. Um. Before we save, guys, I'm gonna do a quick jump cut, so that way we can make sure that the recording's okay. And then we're gonna save, and then we're gonna start up a new recording. It'll be the same episode, but it's just gonna be a different, like, cut, cut into essentially. It. Because so. sometimes our recordings mess up, and we don't want to mess this up, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys. Sorry. Um, this part, from the remainder of this part, to... The end of the part is is most commentary. Uh, I lost the audio file for this part. Um, just like we did in Smash. Yeah, just like we kind of had that problem with Smash Bros. Um, we are fighting Moltres. Big bad burning Moltres. We are we are fighting Moltres for this part, and I tried to sync it up as best I can. I did keep in our failed attempts. Uh, Moltres is a legendary Pokemon. There's only four legendary Pokemon to catch in this game. This is the first one. Right? Um, Yes. There's, I'm uh, sorry, there's more than four. But I mean, like, for the main game, there's only four uh, legendary Pokemon in the game. And this is the first one. Uh, legendary Pokemon are special Pokemon that sit upon certain spots. And you accidentally no. fainted your uh, military, so she, she's resetting the game. Um, you only get one chance. You only get one chance to catch this Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, if you accidentally faint it, it's gone forever, and you won't get another chance. So, it's very much advised to save in front of a thing before you make any attempt to try and catch it. It is... These Pokemon are really hard to catch, and they're kind of like boss fights in the Pokemon games. Uh, I think they have a catch rate of three, which... I think that if you throw a Pokeball at its, at a full health, no status condition, and it, with just regular old poke, dinky old Pokeball, it'll have like a grand total, I think, like less than one percent chance of catching. That's crazy. It's ridiculous. It's like really hard to catch this thing. So you might spend like 20 minutes trying to capture this Pokemon. It's Ooh, really, I confused it. Yeah. Moltres in particular is kind of a jerk. I always have trouble trying to catch Moltres. Moltres is the one that always gives me the most trouble. Articuno and Zapdos, I never have that much trouble with. Yeah. Um, yeah, Articunos and Articuno, Articunos. Articuno and Zapdos and the other uh, two legendary Pokemon that kind of accompany Moltres here. There's three legendary bird Pokemon. Moltres, which is a fire flying type, Zabdos, which is an electro electricity electric flying type if I can talk right. And Articuno, which is an ice flying type. So this is the first one we got to. Moltres wasn't here in the original red and blue game. He was on Victory Road. He was on Victory Road. And because this the the Sevy Isles didn't exist in the They didn't exist at all. So they kinda had to move Moltres, which Victory Road kind of felt weird for Moltres to be in. Cause this, it's like a cape. yeah, because it's just like a regular old cape. Here at least, I him. yeah, you managed to catch Moltres right off the bat before I could. I still have to drive for a little bit. This is gonna him. be a while. Yeah, it's gonna be a while for that. Um, but um, in the remake, the Fire Red and Leaf Green remake, they added this mountain called Mount Ember. Which is literally an active volcano. So they added Moltres to the top of it. Which makes, makes much, much more, more sense. sense for Moltres to be sitting upon. Because the other two places that the other two legendary Pokemon make sense why they're at. Moltres, I always question why they just stuck it in Jake Road. I guess it's because they never had an active volcano in it. 
Um, but yeah, Amber managed to catch Moltrakes. Uh, your best bet for catching a bo the legendary Pokemon is you want to either um, you want to paralyze it or s put it to sleep. Or freezing really helps too. But yeah, you want to be able to give it inflict a, sta a, a status condition like paralysis. Oh, what they want to nickname it? Uh, yeah, you want to put uh, paralysis of sleep. Have it really low HP as possible as you can. And start checking Ultra Balls. That's really what you're going to be using. And the thing that sucks about us here at, at this point is we were kind of running low on Pokeballs with no way to go get any more at the moment. I didn't realize until it really started kicking me in the butt in this playthrough how much of a pain in the rear end this whole side quest of going to the Sevy Isles right now is. Um, you have no access to your PC. And you won't have access to a mart until you go to Two Island, which we haven't gone to yet. We're only on one island. I mean, I guess you can go back. But the thing is, though, I don't think you can actually go back to the previous islands if you if they end. So if you want to try to catch Mole Trace now, it becomes a little bit of an issue. I mean, granted, later in the game, you don't need to worry about our late. Uh, after we've done this whole side quest, you'll be able to go back to one, two, and three island later. But this is just annoying. <laughs> I'll just put it this way. We hardly have any good Pokeballs to use against the Legendary right now. I think I used an Ultra Ball to catch it. I think, I think you did too. Um, you can catch it in a regular Pokeball. You don't have to yeah. use an Ultra or a Great Ball. Um, a lot of people like to use Master Balls on these things. Um, I'm saving mine. <laughs> I'm saving mine for later because there is another Pokemon that's ten times a little bit more harder to catch. And if I don't have a Master Ball, it'll become a little bit harder. Um, these guys are stationary. These guys aren't gonna go go anywhere. It's it, it's painful, but you make make it through if you just chuck balls at it. Uh, save the Master Ball for something later. There is <sighs> later in the game, whenever you beat the game, there's going to be a concept of a new legendary type Pokemon that'll come out and start moving between routes. And when they first encountered the said legendary, it'll automatically run away from you. It's fast enough. So in order to do that, I just I usually just save my master calls for that. Because then I don't have to worry about, you know, oh shoot, well <laughs> uh, I have yeah. to track the dang thing. <laughs> yeah, there's a Pokemon later in the game after we beat the game that will uh, do that. So I go to save my master ball. I'm sure Amber's gonna probably do the same because she don't want to deal with that. I always save my master ball for the last Pokemon we always catch. Yeah. Which you know we're gonna catch. Yeah, I know it's gonna Now, there was something funny that happened in Pokemon Let's Go when we were trying to catch. Was it Moltres in Let's Go we were trying to catch? For you? Or well, what it? exactly happened? Um, you couldn't catch it. You kept trying and you kept missing. Or it kept popping out to the point where you literally ran out of Pokeballs. And in that game, they can't run away. Yeah. And obviously, in Let's Go, you have to battle them first, and then you can catch them. And the, what you're forced to do is just run away at that point. You right. have nothing left to use. And, you know, thankfully, we always say beforehand in case something does happen. And Matthew kept trying to catch it, he had it, and he was having a lot of trouble with it. And I was like, okay, well, let me try. Maybe I can catch it for you. Because I had already caught the bird. I think it was more I, trust, I, I think it was. Trouble. I, I didn't want to use my Master Ball. I had the Master Ball at that point, but I didn't want to use it. You know, because I wanted to use it for something else. The Moltres is kind of a hard Pokemon to catch. Moltres is but, the meanest of the birds. Yeah, Moltres is a hard Pokemon to catch, but I don't want to use Master Ball. You well, know what I mean? Um, I, I was trying to catch him for you, and let's go. And I was trying to catch him for you, and let's go. And you had a Vaporeon on your team. Let's go. Yeah. You were using Vaporeon. I I can't remember if it was Ice Beam or something else, but I used the move and it froze Moltres. <laughs> the bird that's on fire froze Solid. And you were shocked. You're like, how did you freeze Moltres of all things? Well, I, I know. And you were able to <laughs> capture it after that because it was frozen. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. <laughs> it's just like, how do you catch a Pokemon? How do you freeze a Pokemon? That's on fire! And then catch it. <laughs> oh, I think Let's Go. Like, I don't think I caught it like that because in Let's Go, 
you have to beat um, the legendary. You have to beat the legendary before you go into the catch mode. That's why I'm at. Like, yeah. It froze when I was battling it, but it helped catch it too in some way. When you okay. had to catch yeah. it. <laughs> I just found that so funny. I was like, I don't know how I froze it, but now Moltres likes me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Moltres, why are you frozen? You're on fire. You're a firebird. You're a phoenix. I think it was Moltres. It was either Moltres or Arnakin on that. One. Yeah. <laughs> As you can fun. see, I'm still struggling. The thing is, though, after all this is said and done, I still have to catch another Pokemon. Because on Mount Ember, in my game, in the Le Leaf Green version, there is a Pokemon that's exclusive to my game. My game. It's Magmar. Oh yeah. You said yeah. I had, to, I had to go catch Magmar. And it's Moltres nice. is stopping you. And Moltres is making me kind of waste time because you're already on your way back to the top, back to One Island. Well, I'm like, just kind of joking around. At yeah. This point. You're just kind of waiting for me at this point. <laughs> it's just like, well, um. I didn't mean yeah. to catch him so early. <laughs> I know. This was literally my last great ball. The only ball I had left was basketball. And yeah, see. Oh no. So I had to reset. You <laughs> Just, wasted all that time. Yeah, I couldn't do that because, gosh, it was so annoying. Like I don't want to use my master ball on the thing. Like that is the last thing I want to do because I want to use that for actually like really hard stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I had to go and uh, reset the game again so that way we could catch more trees. Um, later in when we do the other legendary Pokemon, it won't be structured this way because the only reason why I have it structured this way right now is because we lost our commentary. Right. Yeah, we lost the commentary for this part. Um, the, the file got corrupted. So I have to kind of, uh, improvise right now. So, but, uh, later, we'll have, uh, the attempts kind of cut a little bit. We'll try to cut it out into the point where... We both are like not having to reset in the middle of the recording. I don't like resetting things in the middle of the recording. But well, sometimes, especially on the legendary, some things happen. You know, like, okay, yeah. I need to reset because the right now ball is like actually killed it or something else. It would be easier, and I'm not saying that. I'm, no, not saying I'm, I'm not enjoying having a second person. But it'd be easier if. Um, if I was by myself, I could just cut out all my bad attempts. Right. But but since you both both you and me are playing, it becomes harder to sync up things. You know what I mean? Right. It becomes harder to sync up things to um, <laughs> so so that way we don't have to waste time with all the multiple attempts of trying to catch a legendary Pokemon. Like I said, it's just it's hard to do it this way, and that's why also I don't cut out battles. If you noticed in this Let's Play, I didn't ever cut out any battles. But that was just because it's hard to cut out things and sync things up when there's two people. You know what I mean? Right. I get that. <laughs> if this was just me, if it was just me doing this Let's Play, yeah, I'd cut out a lot of things. But, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had a Pokemon Let's Play. Yeah, it has. I haven't done a lot like the main Pokemon game on my Let's Play channel. Pokemon White was the last one. That was that's the only one I got. <laughs> that was, yeah, that's when you meet me. But that's uh, literally the only time I've ever recorded a Pokemon channel. The game on my channel. I don't need to go record another one. But Comment if you think he needs to do another Pokemon game. <laughs> I finally caught Moltres after ah! all this. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were exhausted. Every I was like, oh my gosh, third time's a charm. And it says the legendary Pokemon of fire, every flap of its wings creates a dazzling flare of flames. Moltres is really pretty. Right? Yeah, it is. I mean, especially on Pokemon Snap, when you're trying to catch a like, picture of it. Oh, he's really pretty. I like all the legendary birds, though. All the legendary Pokemon are level 50, by the way, guys. So, if you manage to catch one, you have a good party member if you want to use it. I know a lot of people don't use the legendaries. We need to actually come back to this place later um, to, to get Rock Smash. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. we don't we have Rock Smash. Because we don't we can't access PC, can't use HM Slaves, can't do any of that crap. So, <laughs> you had to just wait here. Now, I'm trying to find uh, Magmar at this point. Because I still have to find Magmar here. 
I'm just we talking can... to people. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you're, Amber's just trying to just uh, waste time. Waste time at the moment, cause yeah, cause she has to wait for me, cause she doesn't have anything to do. She I was like, all right, well, my exclusive Pokemon is until later. <laughs> then watch, you'll have to wait on me then. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I see the Yun Yu. I I see. I remember when the Sphero came up. It looked like it was gonna be a shiny again. I, I was about ready to scream. <laughs> I was about ready. I was like, seriously, another shiny Sphero? I was about to scream. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be honest, what are the odds of like the odds of finding a shiny Pokemon in this game is one in eight thousand one hundred and ninety-two. That's a one. Yeah, one. In 8,000, like, for one of every 8,192 encounters you run into, there's a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> what are the chances of finding a shiny Fero like I did, catching it, and then not too many times later, running into the same exact Pokemon as another shiny on a different route? Very slick. Very, very slim chance. It'd be, it'd be so minuscule. It's like well, probably one in a million chance. Well, I found, I got a shiny Honeycomb Let's Go, and then I found a shiny Kukuna after that. Yeah, you found, you found two shiny Pokemon Let's Go. I know that the Let's Go shiny rates is a lot significantly less than it was in the it old still games. Counts. It still counts. It still counts. It's still a rare Pokemon in my book. Gosh well, Lord. after the work I had to do to get my pony call, it better count. Yeah, because I think you were... Speaking of pony call. Speaking of pony call. You were actually sh trying to shiny hunt for pony call, because pony call is your favorite shiny. Oh, yeah. It's blue flames and everything. I yeah, like horses. Just... Horses are one of my favorite animals. Like the blue flames. Especially when it evolves into Rapidash. Very beautiful yeah. Pokemon. Um, but yeah, it has blue flames when it's shiny. And I know that... Uh, you were actually wanting one really bad, so you actually sat down and shiny hunted for like three days straight. My switch was Your on switch the was time. on the whole freaking time. Because you, the way the uh, Let's Go's mechanics for the shiny hunting is, if you have uh, like a catch combo, which means you catch the same Pokemon in a row, if you can have a catch combo of like 30, 31. 31, so you caught 31 of the same Pokemon in a row, which means I had to catch with no, calls. yeah. 31 in a row with without them running away on you or catching, you, or a, catching a different Pokemon. So you set that all up. 31. And then you had to just wait to keep flying around that route until you found a shiny. Because 31 is the highest chance to kind of like help with the shiny factor in that game. And the shiny factor is just it kind of gets a little bit more um, no, there's Magmar. Finally, Finally catch a kid. Magmar is a good fire type Pokemon if you don't have a fire type at this point in the game. Um, he's really good. I like him a lot. In later generations, he gets even better because he gets an evolve form. And he's really good. I just, I like him a lot. He's a good fire type. So, if you don't have a good fire, if you don't have a fire type and you're playing the green version, I really suggest getting Magmar. Magmar's good Pokemon. Learned Fire Punch too. <laughs> well, you just fainted my sand slash. You wouldn't think that a ground type Pokemon would fall down to a Fire Punch. Yeah, you would. Yeah, I think I also was taking advantage of Nine Tails as a Flash Fire ability, which nullify all like fire based attacks. <laughs> So if like a, a opponent uses a fire move on Nine Tails, it Nine Tails' flash fire ability just increases its special attack and it just nullifies the the fire attack that's trying to attack him. Attack her in this case. He's just using smoke. He knows he can't use fire punch on, on Nine Tails, so he's just trying to use uh, smoke screen. <laughs> I know you're kinda bored at this point. You're just watching me at this point too. No, I'm not bored. I was I was watching it. Yeah. Well, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I, I don't get bored. All right, we caught Magmar. Um, Amber can't get Magmar in her game. It's only Elite Green. Uh, so 
the Pokemon she can catch in her game that I can't is named Electabuzz. And we won't get Electabuzz until later, until we get to another place called the Power Plant. Um, so, I caught one w later in the game. Uh, me and When Amber gets Electabuzz at the Power Plant, we're going to be trading for both uh, Magmar and uh, Electabuzz. So that way we uh, can get it registered on our Pokedex. Uh, later in the Let's Play, we're going to have basically like have um, an episode where we just pretty much fill out the rest of the pages in the Pokedex if we can. Well, it's gonna be a trading yeah, it's episode. gonna be a trading episode. It's gonna be a training episode. It's gonna be an evolutionary stone episode. It's gonna be. It's gonna be going to catch the little Pokemon that we couldn't catch before. It's gonna be even another NPC trading episode too. Mm -hmm. But we won't be able to do that until later. We're trying to clear out the rest of this stuff before we go ch challenge the Angel Gym. Because we have seven badges at this point in the game. So we're trying to uh, be prepared before we go fight the final gym. But that is pretty much it for this episode. Uh, again, sorry for we had to use post commentary for this part of this episode, but just the audio got corrupted. So, that, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everyone.